quite a common topic in, in, in badminton is um, uh, Europe versus Asia. How can we close the gap and the differences uh, between uh, how badminton is played, trained, um, uh, watched uh, in the various continents there? Uh, you were born in Jakarta, so perhaps yeah. you're in a very good position actually to um, comment on on the comparison and, and, and the differences. So uh, what do you see as the main differences between uh, badminton in those two continents? Uh, yeah, you know for sure that Indonesian is the most popular uh, sport there, and uh, the supporter is really crazy with uh, with the badminton. And uh, compare in uh, Europe or Germany, yeah, some countries in Europe is also quite crazy fans. As example, in French, if you play there, like you have really a good atmosphere, also almost the same as in Asian. But uh, that's the uh, the biggest compare for me at the time or at this time the supporter there and uh, there is much players there so that means they have like six until ten a good pair where uh, they can beat each other in Europe is like three or four or something like that so that's the difference uh, between Asian and Europe and in Asian is from the support also from the country is quite big uh, we can also see the prizes, the bonuses from the Olympic champion, uh, Olympic, uh, 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 how to say, bronze or silver. They get a lot of more money, a lot of uh, uh, supporting from, it's not from the federation only or not from the country, but from the sponsors uh, where it's quite difficult here in Europe uh, because they like, yeah better to go to football or something like that. Yeah, sure. And so that's that's quite the different one. And uh, now I feel also uh, for the uh, small children, I, I gave also uh, a training uh, once mm -hmm. and I feel that it's quite different, uh, the technique between Europe and uh, also in Asian. Mm -hmm. That I, I can see directly how smooth the Asian can uh, move or can run and can play um, uh, compare with uh, Europe or I mean mm -hmm. here in Germany. But uh, the other side, if you see uh, the small children to play football and I feel like, what? It's like six years old, seven years old, but they can play really soft in compare with Indonesian. And like, I don't know, it's it's quite different. So mm -hmm. I don't know what, uh, what happened, what's the difference, but yeah. That's what my experience is. Yeah, and it's uh, it is really incredible. They they love badminton so much in, in yeah. Indonesia, and in particular, uh, they produce so many great uh, men's doubles players. So it makes it even more impressive that if we talk about a pair like uh, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiwan, mm -hmm. you know, thirty four and thirty seven years of age uh, at yeah. the moment, and almost stepped onto the podium uh, at the Olympics, they were very very close in that bronze uh, uh, medal match. Does does that impress you? How, how, are, how are they able to uh, uh, do that? They're inspirational uh, players within, within doubles. Uh, how do you think they're able to stay at the top for so long? It's a good question. As uh, I know, uh, both of them, Asan and uh, uh, Hendra. Hendra is 2008 with Marcus Kido. He's already <laughs> yeah. uh, Olympic champions. And 13 years later, it's still number two in the world. So he's really a legend and uh, number four in Olympic, almost a bronze. And yeah, I think it's uh, not everyone can reach this level for so long time. And um, for me, it's, I have much respect for them, for sure. It's not only uh, uh, from the person because they are still kind. They are not changing their uh, attitude. Um, yeah, um, I just can say respect to them. Yeah. 